Okay, this is my haul from yesterday. I don't know what to do with the receipt. So, I got a lot of these reusable bags. I don't know how many I got. It looks like, I don't know, five, six. Um, one of them's got like a hole in the bottom. But anyway, most of them are in really good condition. And, uh, let's see. How much I spent? $30.70. Um... $19 on wares. No, 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 no. $20 on wares. It's 19 pounds. 31 pounds of glassware, which was $8.99. Books, I got two, so they were 50 cents a piece. I thought I got more books, but I don't know. I only grabbed two of them. Get them to them, I guess. These have got to be washed, but I found um, yellow, really good condition yellow polo. A blue, which is a little dirty. I hope that comes out, but it's blue and blue. And I found a Vineyard Vines. And, you know, it's got to be washed. I'm thinking some of this will come out, but we'll see. Um, you know, they didn't um, weigh very much, so it's not like I paid a lot of money for them or anything. Um, the book I got was Patio Daddio. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Um, recipes and different old vintage photos in there. Grab that for 50 cents. It's an older book. I got Trees, Your Books of Agriculture, 1949. United States Department. I just love the outside. To me, that's so pretty. And um, it has all kind of pictures and information in there. So, I really got it. I, I saw this first. I had to grab it. Anyway, that. Let's see what else I got. Um, so, a friend of mine is starting to collect these vintage trees. Um, it's missing some of the um, beads. So, it's, uh, you know, you're at the bins. I'm not finding the beads. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I thought maybe if I took some off, like, the back side of it and put it on the front, then, you know, they'd make up for it. But, anyway, so I don't know how much. I mean, the wares all together were uh, $20. So, I mean, I don't know how much that would have come out because it doesn't weigh very much. But um, And I found what I found think is a Holt Howard Angel. Um, it's a vintage, made in Japan. It's got a little glass. I cannot believe this was just in the bottom of the bins. I mean, just by itself. Bro unbroken. Got that. So I find. I'm doing the haul from the back of my car outside. <laughs> This came in a set of little spools for bracelets, like friendship bracelets. But, I mean, I ended up getting all of this together. So, I'll just sell it. I don't need it. But it is um, good thread. Both of those. Oh, got this whole bunch of... Um, some of them are, don't have a lot in them, but um, they're uh, window color for doing the stained glass look. Some of them have never been opened. Some of the colors had never. So, I don't know. It's like 15 of them or something. So, um, anyway, grab those. Putting all this mess. Uh, found this just a bag of the little hearts, little paper hearts. Candy or art projects. Don't need it, but I grabbed it anyway. <laughs> um, thought this was really cool. Um, I've seen one of these that were was not crackled like this. Uh, about the same age. So I'm not sure what caused the little crackle, but Bristol Wear, um, Santa, 1980. 
like maybe a, I don't know if that was a candy jar or cookies or something. Anyway, I thought that was cool. And little Santa goes on top of it. Actually, I like these colors, but um, the original one that I saw a couple of years ago, I think it was a little brighter. Yeah, see, like had those colors right there, a little brighter, and not the dingy colors. But what else did I find? Oh, a wooden puzzle I haven't been opened. A little like a brain teaser kind of puzzle. Oh gosh, what else is in here? Okay, so I found this wooden camera. Um, I don't know if it has a name brand, but I thought that would be so much fun. Um, I gave a, I think it was a black and white one to a friend of mine's little granddaughter. And then, of course, I found another one. So I may have to give her that. Um, so she can have her little collection of cameras. Um, oh gosh, it's just a... A bag that I started throwing stuff in. Okay. So, um, it's a dish towel and has a little writ rack on it. I thought it was pretty. Nothing wrong with it. It's got Christmassy colors and I think the name brand I saw was Tag. Yep. Um, nothing fancy, but it's nothing wrong with it. So, I'll bring that in and use it at Christmas time. Wash it. Bring it. I uh, found a roll of velvet and gold ribbon. Um, I would use for my little jingle bell balls. Uh, I guess that came off of it. Uh, this has got like glitter. Ah. Okay. So this is. It was a bag of just this. Don't know, I guess. Oh, okay. So somebody was making a necklace. It's a fun little necklace. I didn't know what all was on there. Plunder. Plunder. I don't know if that's a certain name brand. Huh. Anyway, maybe it holds your tag, your, you know, work tag or something, or I don't know what that is. But anyway, some of these are wood. I think that's wood and just plastic. They don't feel cold like they're fancy or anything. But anyway, I thought that was cool. Um, then found a bunch, bunch of cookie cutters, and I just started going through them, and I only kept the Hallmark ones and the older ones, the Hallmark, the Clear, and then, oops, that one. Um, oh, and then I found these to go with my collection. I have a collection of copper ones. That's a witch. I wonder if it has a date. Just as made in USA. Um, that one was cute. Gingerbread Man, Frosty. Those are Hallmark, Hallmark, and of course it's a just an aluminum chicken. And then I found these. It's holiday time. Um, whatever that's made out of, like fake. Uh, clay or whatever and they're just from I guess Walmart maybe or yeah Walmart but I thought those were cute I'm paying for that plastic man you know I mean when you're at the bins if you just want to carry it around in something that you found you can't your stuff and then you could just dump it in a bag is what I usually do and then that way I'm not paying for that extra but anyway it kept it organized a little bit this is a handmade little a stocking from 1980. I thought that was pretty. Let's see what else I got. Um, blank index cards. <sighs> yeah. So found this little bag. So this was just a little metal basket full of cookie cutters. And they're mostly 
miniature cookie cutter. I guess for like pies, like if you do pie cutting, but there's just a bunch of them. So I don't need them. I'll sell them. Oh yeah, and then in the bottom I found this little bitty pair of scissors. I guess just for crafting, um, like for decoration. That out of everything. Like I seem to find jewelry and, and stuff like that all the time. Probably means I'll stay there too long. <laughs> like three hours is a long time. <laughs> um, got this 1980s, um, looks like J.C. Penney's silk ribbon um, belt. Got another belt. I don't know. It's leather and it's got this gold. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, found this made in Spain. This belt made in Spain is all it says. Anyway, it's good condition. Um, I don't know if this is a. It has an S. I don't know if that what that stands for. I thought it was a Brighton, but that might be Brighton, and that might be small. I don't know that I did oh and I found this which I'm sort of thinking this is silver but it doesn't say so it's like a choker necklace I don't see it stamped anywhere I don't need it I'll sell it um got this um belt wasn't broken or anything uh this I believe is Brighton this is the one. Yeah, it looks like it's missing its tag right there. 1995. Found this at the bottom. I guess it's just turquoise. Feels very cold like it's turquoise. This bell. It's just like a Christmas bell. 1993. I thought that was pretty. Brass. Another belt, like that white one, similar to the white one that's leather. I think it's called Selena's Collection, A New Attitude in Belts. <laughs> These will not fit me. These are like for small people. <laughs> so what else got? Oh yeah, I found, I thought this was cool. So I found all of these little tags behind a frame and they're old and they're i think they're like the real ones like they're vintage and they're like aspirin certain nasal all all medical stuff sulfur lemonade Anyway, drugstore stuff. I thought that was so cool. And they're all like unused. Rexall Drugs, Indiana, Washington, Pennsylvania, Get Your Poison, Rhode Island, Sugar of Lead. Anyway, so I took it all out from underneath the frame. The frame was broken away and brought them home. Then I have all these stickers. I do a little bit of scrapbooking, so I have all these stickers that I found, most unused. Oh gosh. Okay, and then I got a necklace that's never been used. A little Christmassy. I mean, this is just like dollar store stuff, but it was unused. So I got that. Let's see what else I found. Put this back in here before it gets messed up. Or lose them, which just dropped one. Turmeric. I don't know what that was used for in the drugs. Okay, let's see what else I got. this jar, which to me looked like a, um, for chemistry lab, that kind of jar. Um, I don't know what you call those, a beaker or something? Anyway, it's the shape. So, 
I don't know, it must have been for sale somewhere for $5, and it's got glitter in it, Urgh. but I'm just, I'll just wash it out. Oh, yeah, I found this Tom's, oh, God, I've made a mess here. Um, that's what I get for doing a haul outside the back of my car. But, um, toasted peanuts, delicious Tom's, and it did not have a lid. Oh, I forgot it had that. Did not have a lid, but... Anyway, I thought it was cool. I mean, it says not to be sold prop or property of. So I figured it was old. Also, I got this Lost 40 um, Brewing. I thought that was a pretty cool cup. And so all the glassware, this, this, this. And I have a bag full of um, marble eggs somewhere. I hadn't got to them yet. Was only glassware. Was only eight dollars and ninety nine cents is all I paid for that, for four things. And so I will be selling. I'll probably give this to a friend. Sell this. Give that to my son. And then, because he collects some of those sometimes. And then I will uh, the marble eggs. I will sell. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Oh, so I got a bag full of these little name tags um i will use them for something else but well i gotta open it up so it's just a bag full there's probably like 10 of these in there and um you just put like a name tag or something in there but i thought i could just use it for something else in my crafting not quite sure it's got a little ziploc on the top i don't know like if i had some sand or something and i wanted to use it in my journaling um if i went somewhere and got some sand from i don't know i do that from time to time so anyway i thought about that uh a paper chef uh, meat um separator when you're cooking ground beef and I know these can be sort of expensive, and this is in really good shape. It's dirty. It's been at the bottom of the bins, but it looks like it's in good shape. Um, I got this um, belt, fancy belt that I can use for something else. I don't, I wouldn't be wearing it, or I don't know anybody that could wear that. But also found some nice salt, salty collection. That looks like a rabbit. I don't know. But, so here's a little pepper, a little wooden one. grinder little googly eyes mm, that's got something on the bottom um, baby salty <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I've never had these or collected them but um, I see people with these and um, not sure what that one would have said at the very top Hmm. Anyway, oh, it's got a little. But I'll sell these as a set. That's a fun set. Um, little brass ashtray. Travel. I don't know what that is, but let me see what else I got into. Oh yeah. Okay. So this I'll I'll probably give to one of my friends. It's a um I thought it was a skirt for a tree, but it's not. I think it's a runner for a table, table runner. And it's in pretty good condition, actually, for the age. Um, got a couple of bags. Cracker Barrel, Rocky Mountain National Park. I thought it's like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Oh, here's another one of these. Fun. Um, oh, this is an ornament. I thought it was pretty. I mean, it was just sitting by itself. It's sort of weird. It's just out by itself. Um, but this bag. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this bag. Get this truck. Um, 
oh, another bag, gift giving. This, which I don't, I wouldn't think this is old, but this enamelware, I mean, I thought it was pretty. It looks a little vintagey. And then I got this bag. Um, it is uh, leather and canvas. A Myra bag. It looks like it's never been used. And oh, there's the. There they are. Ooh, I got this too as part of that glassware. So I got all the glassware for eight ninety nine. It's a um, Pioneer Woman. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. No chips or anything. Nice size mug. But all of these are marble. And I, can't, I mean, to ship this stuff would be so heavy. But anyway, I am going to put them up for sale because I don't need them. But, oh, all the colors here. You know, I could go every single day and buy stuff that things that I don't shop for that I would never find because I don't get out that much. And I mean, these would just come from all over. You know, I just, I have so much fun when I go to the bins because of all the different things that you can find and troubles you can get into. And I rarely spend over 30 And I usually make money back whatever I sell. You know, whether it's to friends or family or whomever. Um, I usually make my money back in the first week after just selling some stuff. You know? um, although, I mean, all this stuff's really cute, but I do not need any of this stuff. Um, and then some of it will be for Christmas presents. You know, like this. And well, I'll put Santa. Anyway. That is my haul.